Hey everyone, we're going to solve each equation and check our solution using properties of equality. And these are the three problems we're going to do. Okay, they're all very similar, so you want to choose one and just slide through to the one you want. But they're all going to have the same, uh, use the same properties. So the first one is this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to go, we have to solve for M. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is add 3 to both sides of the equation to help isolate the M. So you get 6M. This is called the addition property of equality. Plus 0 equals M plus 14. All right, because 11 plus 3, whoopsie. Uh, 11 plus 3 is 14. Now, what we're going to do is use the subtraction property. This is the zero property of arithmetic. We're going to subtract m from both sides. So you're going to, that's like 1m. What is that doing there? Well, that's a 1. All right, so you have 5m, and we can forget about the zero. And this is 0 plus 14. So we, what we get is we get 5, 5m equals 14. And then uh, you're going to use your division property and divide both sides by 5. So we get m equals 14 divided by 5. All right. Now we're going to check our solution <coughs> by plugging it back into the original. So we take our original, and everywhere there's an M, you're going to write, this is this one, 14 divided by 5. And there's another M, so this M, 14 divided by 5 plus 11. All right. I'm going to go ahead and write this in fraction form. Um, this is going to be 6 times 14. So that's only 28 times 3. So let's just do it this way. Um, it's 24. 84 divided by 5. If I write this in fraction form, I'm going to write minus, and I want a 5 here. So all you do is you take this 3 and multiply it by 5. So that's going to be 15, because 15 divided by 5 is 3. All right, and then we have 14 divided by 5. I'm going to write this 11 in fraction form. I'm going to put a 5 here, because we have to have the same denominator to add and subtract. And when you do that, you just take your numerator times this new denominator, which is 55. All right, so let's see what this is. 14 plus 55, that's going to be 69 divided by 5. And 84 minus 15 is also 69 divided by 5. So these um, do equal. That means our solution set is 14 divided by 5. All right, the next one. I'm going to go a little faster. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my subtraction property of inequality both times. I'm also going to subtract 3 from both sides. My goal is to get m on one side and my constant on the other. So my m is on the left side of the equation. This is going to be 0. This is 0. And then I have 11 minus 3 is 8. So, whoops, this would be a plus. So basically we have 5m, e 5m equals 8. Now divide both sides by 5 using your division property of equality. And m uh, should be 8 over 5. Or your solution set is 8 divided by 5. Now let's check our solution. So we're going to substitute, use our substitution property of inequality. Or equality. 
you're just copying down this original equation. And everywhere there's an M, you put 8 divided by 5. Now, I'm going to write this in fraction form. I'm going to write 3 in fraction form. And I'm going to write 11 in fraction form. All right. So, 6 times 8 is 48. So, we have 48 divided by 5. My pen's acting up. Now, I need the same denominator, so my denominator is going to be 5. And all you do is you take this 3 times 5, and that gives you 15. Because 15 divided by 5 is still 3, so we're just keeping the same denominator. All right, and we want our denominator to be 5 again. So, 5 times 11 is 55. And again, 55 divided by 5 is 11. So we're going to add this up. We got 48 plus 15 um, and 8 plus 55. So this is going to be 63 over 5. And this is going to be 63 divided by 5. Since they do equal each other, that means 8 divided by 5 is our solution set. Finally, the last one. In this case, I'm going to use my addition property and add 6m to both sides. I like to keep my variable part um, positive. And then I'm going to also add 11 to both sides. So it saves some time when you can do both at the same time. So this is going to be 0. 11 minus 3 is 8. This is 7. 11 minus 11 is 0. So basically we have um, 8 equals 7m. Use your division property of equality. And you get m equals 8 divided by 7. So you can write it like this. Now we have to check our solutions, and we just have one, so everywhere there's an M, you're going to substitute using your substitution property uh, with 8 divided by 7. So I'm going to copy down this equation, except wherever there's an M, I'm going to write 8 divided by 7. If you want, you can write some of these numbers in fraction form by uh, putting a 1 underneath. And let's clean this up. Negative 6 times 8 is negative 48. 7 times 1 is just 7. Minus, now it looks like our common denominator is going to be 7. So you take your 3. 3 times 7 is 21. You just take your numerator and multiply it by the new denominator. All right, same thing here. I have a, put a 7 here. So 7 times 11 is 77. All right, now let's see what happens here. Negative 48 minus 21 is negative 69. And 8 minus 77 is going to be, let's see. Yeah, that's still going to be 69. So negative 69 divided by 7. So since they do equal, that means our solution is correct. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>